What's up guys? So I've been getting comments and uh, people want me to create more content on real estate along with the cryptocurrency stuff. Uh, once again, I've stated numerous times that I would not be buying real estate right now. Uh, I would be putting my money into cryptocurrencies instead and then use those profits whenever the market does correct to come back and continue to buy properties. But anyways, um, someone asked me, how would you get started if you wanted to start today? Which once again, I wouldn't recommend, but there is something I do highly recommend. So everyone pays rent and rent is a very you know high expense for most people. So if you really wanna find out if you have the ability to do real estate, what I would recommend is going to your rent, and this is Zillow, you could go to whatever website, Craigslist, whatever you guys use to find rentals. And let's just say you want to go ahead and I'm gonna put in, um, the cheaper area around here is Santa Ana, so I'm gonna do 92071. So what I would do is I would look into renting a property with as many bedrooms, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna rent all the rooms to not only just cover your rent, but if it all works out, you should make some positive cash flow on this property, and then you can move to another property. And this is a really good way to figure out whether you're cut for real estate, and obviously to make a real estate transaction, um, you're going to need capital and the way to kind of raise capital is if you want to follow this model, you could actually have three or four properties you're renting that are making you some uh, money and then you can take those profits, the experience you have from renting these rooms to then buy your own property. But anyways, let's begin. Um, I'm going to try to make this video under seven minutes, so we're going to be quick. So what I would do is I would go to for rent and to start, I would say minimum three, but we'll just look at the market and so you're going to put any price let's see if we got anything for a thousand bucks three beds two thousand wow we can't find anything for two thousand what that seems like okay here we go so you can get two bedrooms so it looks like we're not getting anything good but let's just go ahead and pick the cheapest thing they got available so right now, if you're gonna make a play for this, you can find this apartment right here for one bath, two bed, 1500 a month. And you guys might say that this is ridiculous. So this could be the way for you to start. Um, let's see what it, what it would it cost to get in the three bed range. Let's raise it to 2500. Okay, so this kind of makes more sense. I would go with something, well, for 1500, you can get two bedrooms. Anyways, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna we're gonna go with this one. Two thousand, three bedroom, one bath. Okay, so what I would do, and look, it looks like it's very under the rent. It says the rental estimate should be three thousand, but it's going for two thousand. So I don't know what your rent is, but let's just say right now you live in a studio and you're paying fifteen hundred. So whenever your next lease comes up, what you would do is you would look for a property with multiple bedrooms, and you're gonna go ahead and take it now. I would say just do something that's like somewhat affordable. So if you're paying 1500, paying $500 more for rent's no big deal. You're gonna go ahead and rent this property and then boom, you're gonna have to go on Craigslist, Zillow, um, Facebook, and basically you're gonna have to find roommates to rent to. And this is a great way to kind of figure out whether you want to play landlord or not. And like I said, um, the going market for rooms, I would say is like $700. So if you're able to rent two of your rooms, you've all of a sudden knocked down your rent to six, 600. And uh, let's just say you're a hustler, you're actually able to rent two of the rooms for 800. And let's just say um, you find a third person that's willing to pay 900. Well. If you're able to do that, you're going to be making, what is that, 800 plus 800 plus 900. So you would be making 2,500 a month and um, you'd be making $500 of just cash flow by doing this arbitrage. Now you're going to have to like hustle, go on Craigslist, get furniture, furnish the place. You only furnish the common areas. That's the way I would do it. Um, but this would be some sort of test to see if you want to get into real estate. And like I said, before you get into real estate, if you're going to even invest in cryptocurrencies, I would figure out ways to lower your expense. So if you're paying 1500 to live by yourself, I, I would say you're going to have to tough it up and uh, find some roommates and start grinding and lower your rent um, so that you can try this out. And like I said, if this works out for you, maybe you get two, three properties um, it is going to get time consuming. So like I said, you have to balance it with your work 
And I can go into more details um, of like how you would find people to rent the rooms for. Um, and I'll probably do that in another video, but that's pretty much the idea of how to get started. If I was starting today, I don't recommend buying, but I do recommend getting experience renting to people. And one of the easiest ways to uh, get into real estate is you obviously buy a home, rent the rooms out. And then if you're able to com completely rent all the rooms, you can then look at buying another property. But instead of doing all that, why not figure out through renting if this is something you want to do and see if... Uh, how successful you are. And at the same time, like I said, if you hustle this three bedroom, I mean, like I said, if you're able to find two people to pay you 800, you could live in this three bedroom uh, for uh, $400 a month. And let's just say it kind of does suck to live with other people, but at the same time, you're saving a lot of money. You can roll that money into your own studio and then just completely rent out the three, the three bedroom and cash flow it. Um, but yeah, so let me know your thoughts, but this is like a little video on how to get started with real estate. Um, but the name of the game, if you're gonna get started, is learn how to first save up money. You wanna put down 20%. And how do you save money? Figure out ways like this to, to hustle and lower your expenses and to kind of figure it out. Um, what I'm also gonna do maybe in some future videos, I'll upload like leasing forms and kind of go over that stuff. But um, there's plenty of material you can get online, um, but like I said, I'm trying to keep this under seven minutes. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, and obviously the prices are probably a little more high than most places that people go to because California does have pretty expensive rent. But let me know your comments and I will talk to you guys soon.